Hello, everyone. I'm Ed Masita, Chief Editor for Clinical Leader, and welcome to the 2021 Life Science Leader CRL Leadership Awards. 2021 is the 10th year that we've been presenting these awards, and it seems like that time has flown by. Back when we started these awards, a colleague and I would walk the show floor at DIA, handing out the awards to those CROs who were in attendance at the show. We've come a long way since then, and this year we are proud to once again be doing these awards in conjunction with our partners from DIA as part of their global annual meeting. I don't think anyone could imagine going out and building a new home without the help of a skilled and experienced contractor. And with the co complexity inherent in today's clinical trials, I don't believe many drug developers could envision themselves conducting a clinical study without the help of a skilled and experienced CRO. Unfortunately, the process of finding and engaging with the right partner remains a challenge for many companies. Do you go with a large CRO or a boutique partner? What's more important to you, global reach, company culture, or perhaps therapeutic expertise? What is more important to you, quality or timeliness? These are difficult questions every sponsor must answer, and in many cases, before they even begin their search process. We started these awards to honor those partners who have been selected as the best by the clients they work with. We also hope that this will be a source of information for companies who are in the CRO selection process. We hope this information will be a help to you as well when it comes time to select your next development partner. All of these award winners can also be seen in our annual CRO Leadership Awards Supplement, which is polybagged with the June issue of Life Science Leader Magazine. You can see these winners on the Life Science Leader webpage as well. At this time, I would like to introduce Heather C. Schultz. She is Director of America's Operations for DIA. Welcome, Heather. Thank you so much, Ed. A huge congratulations to the 2021 CRO Leadership Awardees. DIA is honored to partner with Life Science Leader and Industry Standard Research to recognize the accomplishments of the CRO community and the crucial contributions CROs make to the drug and biologic development process. DIA is a global association that mobilizes life sciences professionals from across all areas of expertise with the goal of better policies, regulations, science, research and development, all in the service of improving patient outcomes all over the world. From our point of view, the CRO community is essential to this process, as is your engagement with DIA. There are many ways for us to partner with the CROs, whether through DIA Now, our learning courses, our specialty meetings, and of course, our global annual meeting. The CROs as a community are an integral part of DIA. You share your knowledge with our members in pursuit of tomorrow's possibilities, and we are so appreciative. CROs are often behind the scenes in biopharma de development, but your role is integral to the advancement of drugs and biologics. Each of you should be proud of the skill and hard work of your teams. I am thrilled to congratulate you all as recipients of the 2021 CRO Leadership Awards. Ed, back to you. Thank you, Heather. I would now like to introduce Kevin Olson. Kevin is CEO of Industry Standard Research, and he is going to discuss the process ISR uses to determine the winners of these annual awards. Welcome, Kevin. Thank you, Ed. Data for the CRO Leadership Awards come from an annual survey of the industry. The survey is funded and conducted by Industry Standard Research, also known as ISR Reports. The quickest way to understand how this study works is to think about how Consumer Reports covers, say, the automobile industry and some other industries. ISR surveys the broad industry of drug developers, heavy concentration in the United States and Western Europe, a little bit in Asia as well. And potential participants for the research are screened to ensure they work in pharma or biotech companies and in a capacity where they have responsibility for or oversight of CROs. So we know we're talking to the right individuals. I, uh, individuals identify which CROs they've used in the past 18 months, and they rate those CROs across a number of different dimensions of performance, 20 to 25 different performance dimensions. And very importantly, they only rate CROs they've actually used in these 18 months. This isn't a perception study. This is a study based on actual experiences. 
To ensure an unbiased sample of participants, contact lists are not accepted from CROs to help field this research. All survey participants come from ISR and Life Science Connect lists. ISR fields this survey in two parts broken out by phase. There's a phase one study that we complete and a phase two, three study that we complete. And ISR offers for purchase the detailed reports broken down by phase. But for the purpose of the CRO Leadership Awards, ISR and Life Science Connect combine the data from those two distinct surveys into a single data set and reanalyze the data to determine the award recipients. To qualify for an award, a company must receive at least seven user ratings. Otherwise, their data are not included in the analysis and awards are not eligible. This year, a total of 428 surveys were completed and more than 60 CROs were rated. Of the 60 CROs that received ratings, 28 CROs received enough evaluations to qualify for an award. Lastly, the award categories are as follows, quality, reliability, capabilities, expertise, and compatibility. There are also individual awards given for data quality, meeting overall project timelines, technology for real-time access to data, operational excellence, and responsiveness. And that covers the methodology for the 2021 CRO Leadership Awards. Thank you, Kevin. We're now ready to present the awards. Please join us in honoring all of the winners of the 2021 Life Science Leader CRO Leadership Awards. On behalf of myself, Heather, and Kevin, thank you for joining us today to celebrate clinical outsourcing excellence. We would like to uh, congratulate all of the winners of this year's CRO Leadership Awards. I would like to again thank DIA and Industry Standard Research for helping us to make these awards possible. I look forward to seeing you in 2022 when we can be back together again and honoring these award winners, hopefully in person. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the 2021 DIA Global Annual Meeting.